Good evening at home and welcome to In the Upper Room. I'm Michael Riley and I'm sitting here, I'm representing uh, Shauna Roy, who is my co-host. She is actually on the road today. And before I get started with the program this evening, I want to wish you at home a very happy Easter, Resurrection Sunday, um, Passover, however you choose to celebrate, um, you know, this, this wonderful time. Uh, I wish you the best. And I want to once again thank you for allowing us to come to you this evening. Um, a portion of tonight's program, which is going to be this top half of the hour, it will be live. I am sitting here at the Comcast studio at this moment in time. And what I'm saying is what's happening. Uh, so with that said, let's start off this program with my going to the throne of grace, as we always do on this program. So at home, if you would join me and bow your hearts and minds as we go to the throne of grace. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this wonderful, wonderful day to, to celebrate the resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, I ask that you bless each household and, and just, just really give them a perspective of the price that was paid for all of us, Lord. Um, I want to be a humble servant as I conduct tonight's program, Father. So I ask that you order my steps. And, and if any information that I am to put out, please let it be received. Um, and know that it's my heart to be of service, Father. I ask that you cover those who are traveling to and fro over the holidays, Lord. Give them traveling mercies. I ask that you continue to bless Shauna and her family and all of those who are watching the program tonight. Bless our, our uh, staff here at the studio who makes it all possible for this, this signal to, to go out to the community. I thank you for this blessed channel and those who are managing it, Lord. I ask that you continue to guide and bless Lapa and let them continue to do an excellent job. And I really send this prayer up, Lord, with the spirit of thanksgiving in Jesus' name, amen. At home, thank you for joining me in that prayer. And I see my man Dave in the, in the working the camera. Dave, shout out to you. Dave took his hat off and, and he bowed his head as he always does, and Keisha and Aben. I think that the reason why this channel has survived so many challenges and, and continues to prosper, I believe it's because there is a collective spirit of believers. No matter what particular vein of religion that is practiced, there are spiritual people behind the cameras here, in the control room, many of the hosts. I mean, it's no coincidence that there's positive energy that is being sent out, and, and I thank God for being a, a part of that, even if it's a small part. Uh, let me just start off by letting you know that tonight, as I mentioned at the top of the program, I'm sitting in for Shauna Roy, and I don't have any guest book tonight, so I guess this is a time for us, once again, just to have a conversation, rehash some things, and uh, you may not be able to just pick up the phone and call in, but I know that you follow, you know, the messages that we put out, and many of the messages that we put out are the result of conversations that we've had with you. Um, whether we've run into you at the grocery stores or at churches or other functions, um, special events, I thank you for interacting with us because without that, there would be no need for us to do a program. Um, because you cannot have a community outreach program without interacting with you, the community. And that was a lesson I, I learned not on my own. That was a lesson that was taught to me. First of all, starting with our founder, our late founder, Sister Dottie Neal. And I learned that lesson a little more from uh, Anthony and Terry Carter, who were the former hosts. And certainly, I learned how important it is to support you as well as have you support us. I learned that from Shauna Roy. Um, and, and Anthony Carter used to joke with me a lot because I, when I first started doing this, you know, I would be a little bit nervous uh, 
in preparing for the program, not during the program, but the preparation of it. And he put me at ease because he said, you know, Mike, this is not a Hollywood production. This is not fantasy. This is not drama. This is uh, real life. And he said, if you're sincere, the people will receive it. And you guys have certainly shown me uh, that you've been receptive of us here. We kid around a lot. We have a lot of laughs here on In the Upper Room. And I'm, I'm thankful for those times. I'm really thankful. But I'm also thankful for you're showing us that you can appreciate some of our, our opinions or some of our uh, uh, perspectives that we have. And, and you know, it's really a privilege when an individual can sit here before you and share their experience, strength, and hope with you. And, and do it and not feel as if they need to be perfect in order for you to, to, to understand what we're saying. Thank God for that, man. I, you know, that's why I think you guys are family to me. Um, and, and believe me, uh, whenever God is ready to call me home, each and every one of you are a part of my story. And I would pray that, that one of the things that would be known is that Michael and Shauna, we love you just as much as you love on us. And, and you know, I was watching uh, the programs that have been on today. I always watch Channel 28, um, particularly on Sunday, and sometimes I'll flash, flick through it at night. But in watching the programs today, I, I, I looked at the diversity of the programming. I looked at the wealth of information and inspiration that was put forth today. For instance, I watched the DCRAC program, which is about the uh, credit, uh, what do you call it, uh, credit union and credit counseling and, and all of that. Um, and, and I found that very informative. And of course, the host was very experienced and had a great deal of knowledge. And lo and behold, I called the number as a result of watching her program. I think it was Ramshi. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her name correctly. If you're watching tonight, I'll get it right. I have a habit of doing that. It takes me a while to get it right, but I know who you are. Um, but anyway, um, listening to that information prompted me to give her a call and leave her a message because, you know, I may be doing better than some and maybe not as well as others, but man, listen, knowledge is power and, and there's no harm in interacting and consulting with someone who may have a broader range of knowledge on a particular subject than yourself. I think that's how we grow and indeed that is how we prosper. So I'm looking forward. They have programs on the first Saturday of every month for their, uh, I think, their credit, credit counseling. And I may be misnomering the name of the program, but that's the, the, a, a part of the uh, process. That's the first Saturday of every month from, I think, she said, be prepared to be there from, say, 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock p.m., 10 o'clock a.m., 1 o'clock p.m. I'm looking forward to that. And then on the second Sunday, there's a follow-up program. I think it lasts for about the same amount of time, and that will be with um, a different focus, which is um, setting up budgets for yourself so that um, you can enjoy some of the, the fruits of your labor and not just see your money come in and just go out with nothing left. Wouldn't it be nice to have a little something left? And, and that was a thought that I had, you know? And, and then on the final Saturday of the uh, course, same hours, third Saturday, you would meet with um, an expert or consultant who would sit down with you, go over your, your goals, go over your, your, um, your but help you form a budget, and not only that, but help you um, review your credit report and give you feedback and information that you may or may not choose to follow that would help you to begin on the road of establishing or reestablishing excellent credit. 
I thought that that was value added. So that was just one program that I got something from today. And then I listened to Chi on uh, the Richard Leroy show. Always get good information from him. And, and not only that, uh, I think that the personalities really come across on this channel because it's so intimate. And most of you at home, you know somebody on this station. And, and you don't get that. You, you can't get that from watching Channel 6. You know? You can't get that from watching Channel 10. You can't get that from watching Channel 3. Um, you can't get that from watching CNN, you know, MSNBC, God forbid, Fox. <laughs> you can't get it. You can't get it there. You cannot get the local content that you need um, uh, from, from strictly those sources. You definitely need a little piece of homemade apple pie, and that's channel 28, managed by Lapa, because this is a station that is for you, about you, and because of you. You understand? Because, you know, you've been a part of this. You were there for the fight, fights, plural, that we've had to go through to make sure that we stayed live on this channel. You showed up at all those meetings that are not forgotten. You know, your efforts will not be forgotten. I don't forget it. Shauna doesn't forget it. I'm sure Lapa doesn't forget it. The staff here at the studio doesn't take it for granted. This was a, this was a fight, and, and we showed up. And the only way you can win a fight of any kind, you have to be there. You know, because if you're not there, guess what? You get a forfeit. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't stand a chance. So don't let anybody trick you into believing that there's nothing to fight for because there's always a cause that is worth fighting for. Um, a representative or councilman, rather, J Street always says that his elders taught him, you know, if there was a good fight, get in it. And, and I'm just paraphrasing that, and that's not a quote. Jay, if you're watching it, and I messed that quote up, forgive me, brother, but receive it in the spirit in which it was given, because I respect that. And, you know, when, when, you, have, when you have to stand up and fight for things, uh, you know, there's going to be many different uh, positions that need to be filled. Everybody is not supposed to be out front. Everybody is not supposed to be standing somewhere with the microphone in front of their face. There needs to be a collective strategy, you know. And my mom and my grandma, they always said, never let your right hand know what your left hand is doing and, and vice versa, because sometimes I think that people over talk before any type of strategy can be implemented. And it wouldn't make sense. I mean, if you were playing cards, would you have the dealer deal all of your face cards face up? Doesn't make sense. I think that common sense rules the day. And I, I, appreciate, I appreciate the public servants who sometimes uh, reserve comment because sometimes I think that that's prudent. I think that, um, they say discretion is the greater part of valor. And I think that that statement is true in many regards. Um, and each circumstance is different. So when a person doesn't uh, spill the beans or, or, or just pour out rants and things like that, it doesn't mean that they don't care. And it doesn't mean that they're not um, engaged. It just means that maybe they're just being a little bit uh, discretionary in, in their in voicing their opinions and I can respect that too because you know sometimes the loudest person in the room is the is the the one that knows the the least amount so so you know with that said I'm, I'm, I'm not really trying to be on a soapbox I'm just talking but um, I just want to say that every closed eye is not sleep you know and and I know that there's a lot of wisdom out there in, in our community and, and I really hope, I really hope I can see the day 
when, as, as Dr. King said, you know, um, when we, we, we judge people by the content of their character, um, and he's, he mentioned not by the color of their skin, but I'm just going to say by the content of their character, period. Because a lot of times things don't get done because of misjudgment. You know, a phone call may not have been placed to the proper person just because they're not a member of this or they weren't seen here. Doesn't mean that they don't have input that could be valuable. And we, we certainly need to stop. Stop throwing away opportunities to make real impacts um, that will benefit our community as a whole. Uh, I read about so many different committees and commissions and things like that. And once again, I say, everybody is not supposed to be in front of the camera, but when I hear about all of these organizations and they say that they reached out to this person, that person, this person, at home, don't you sometimes feel that maybe your phone should have rung? Perhaps you could have, uh, you know, weighed in with, with a perspective that may have uh, fortified the efforts. Uh, it's, because, it's because of status quo. And that's my thought on it. Again, not a soapbox, but you put me in front of a camera for a half an hour, who knows what's going to come out. But I promise you this, it will be, be sincere. If not correct, it will be sincere. So if I err or offend, charge it to my head, not my heart. Um, I want to send out, interrupt this, this conversation. I have to do some shouts out before I run out of time because we're only doing the first half an hour live. A birthday shout out. This is a belated birthday to Mom Joanne Lemons. Woo! That lady, that lady. I love her so dearly, and she is the sweetest thing since pumpkin pie. Mom Joe, I told you I was going to give you a shout out. Here it is. I um, want to give a shout out to you, the viewing audience, too. Again, I, I pray that you've had a blessed holiday and a wonderful weekend. Uh, the, my family, my immediate family, my extended family, the In the Upper Room family. Uh, Shauna's going to watch this as a, a recorded video. A shout out to you, Shauna, um, for the marvelous job you've done in helping to run this program. Um, truly a, a, a group effort. And if any of you out there have birthdays on today or if it just passed or it's coming up, happy birthday to you in advance, <laughs> belatedly, you know, in anticipation of, because truly each one of the days that represents our coming into this world is a reason to celebrate. I celebrate each and every one of you because you are somebody. And that is a message that I pray you repeat to yourself. You know, um, I heard uh, Mr. Holloway and, and, and he referred to how, uh, you know, the old timers or our elders, I should say respectfully, used to say, you know, go to your, your secret place and, and have a conversation with God. So when you're in your secret pl place, believe me, don't leave yourself out. It's okay to pray and ask God to bless you as well as others. You know, because he, he truly does value each one of us and love each one of us. And um, no, not one more than the other. And, and, and you're no less than anyone. So, you know, Sean and I, we, we recorded a piece, piece in the past where we talked about heroes and, and how um, it's important for you to understand when you look in the mirror, you are looking at a hero. You are someone's hero. Somebody's always watching you, and sometimes when you least expect it. And, and so I think that, you know, once we can appreciate ourselves, we can really bless somebody else because we are willing to feel comfortable that we have value to, to add to someone. But it does, start, it does start, as Michael Jackson said, with that man or woman in the mirror. Um, and, and sometimes it's not easy. <laughs> I'll speak from personal experience, it's not always easy looking at that person in the mirror, especially when they got an attitude and they're looking right back at you. 
You know, I've, I've had days when I was so cranky, I looked in the mirror and I said, what you looking at? You know, <laughs> I'm ready to fight myself, Dave. You know, now that's crazy. But, but I tell you, um, taking a critical look at myself, it turned out to be rewarding in the long run because I, I discovered in, if nobody else agrees with me, I agree, that I discovered that the guy that was looking back at me, he was all right. And, um, and so I think that that's why I just feel so blessed to, to be able to sit down here because without you guys even knowing my story, believe me, it's a testimony, as, as is your story. And that's why we look forward when we can invite you on our program and have you sit here with Shauna and with me and allow us to share in your discovery what, what you've uncovered about yourself and, and um, the, the willingness that you have to, to share your experience with each other through this, this program here. Because sometimes you're, you're on that side of the camera looking at home, and many of you at home, you've been on this side of the camera talking back to the folks at home. And that's, once again, that's what we're here for. Shauna and I are not asking to win an Emmy or an Oscar or Academy Award. I, I, I certainly wouldn't stand a chance at a Grammy, but we don't do this for the accolades, um, nor do we do this for financial gain. We do this because this program here represents a legacy that was started many years ago, probably well over 30 years ago. And Sister Dottie Neal, she had a vision and she executed that vision until the Lord called her home. And she groomed Anthony and Terry Carter to continue that work so that this, this legacy would continue. And it did until Anthony retired and the Lord called him home and Terry retired. Terry is still alive and well. And then when it was, it was charged to Shauna and me to continue to shepherd this program, we took that call seriously. And, and with that said, I noticed that, you know, in the past, we, the program was sponsored in the past, and it was sponsored generously. And I'm not quite sure what happened when Sean and I took over that caused the sponsorship to disappear. Uh, at home, maybe you know. If you know, you can always give me a call, let your boy know what happened, and see if we can uh, make some adjustments. But I don't recall anything in particular that Sean and I did that would make people pull their sponsorship of this program. So if you know some business people out there, um, I don't know, maybe if you want to ask them, hey, were you ever a sponsor of In the Upper Room? Or, or um, you know, if so, why did you stop? Or, or would you consider being a sponsor? Hey, be, help us help you, you know? Um, we welcome, we welcome sponsorship and we don't feel a sense of entitlement, but it is, it is um, an endeavor that needs funding, as does pretty much every type of outreach. I've never seen any outreach that was done with zero funding. Have you? And I'm not going to kid you. My resources have been stretched to the limit. Shauna's resources have been stretched to the limit as well. Um, and it's because of our love of this program. But not asking for anybody to feel guilty or anything, but just laying it out there like it is. You know, uh, with my over five year battle with cancer, believe me, I incurred some, some bills that was crazy. And the money that I would pour into this program, it got stretched and it's still getting stretched. Um, you know, I feel much better and I'm grateful to have had the treatment, but it darn sure wasn't cheap. And, uh, but I'm, I'm encouraged, I'm encouraged to press on because I've seen people do more with less before and I've done more with less and I'm sure Shauna has and maybe you have too. But we're gonna to continue to press forward and we're gonna make the best decisions that we can possibly make to make sure that we are able to continue this, this precious, precious, precious legacy that we call In the Upper Room Outreach Television Ministries. Um, it's an ideal that I feel is just as relevant today 
and it offers solutions, I believe, that are just as viable today as when the late, great Sister Dottie Neal um, executed uh, the leadership in this program. And we have a website, itupperroom.com. If you're computer savvy or you have access, you can always please just log on to itupperroom.com. Do it frequently. We can appreciate that. And on there, you will be able to learn more about Shauna and me and some of the programs. And uh, you'll see links to our videos on YouTube, over 680 videos. And um, there's also a donate button on the itupperroom.com. You can simply be a friend of the program and donate it. Or if you want to be a sponsor, you can call me at 302-494-0231 or email us at intheupperroom03 at aol.com. And I think my time is up for this first half hour. It's been a blast. Um, and I thank you for tuning in. Please stay tuned because we have some recorded segments that we're going to be showing you for the next half hour. Okay, so stay tuned. On behalf of Shauna and Michael, we love you. Happy Easter. Good night.